He ran into the shot. Radio Raheem. Uh, Roley's already well, yeah. right here, right here. Oh, my bad. Uh, Roley feels like he won every round and is already calling for the rematch. What's your reaction to that? Hey. <laughs> I don't know, man. Shout out to him. Did he give you any trouble in this fight? Was there anything about his style that was difficult? No. I think I need to start warming up more, though, before the fight. So I won't. I could be already, like, really warm when I get into the fight. Because it was like, I was going into the fight a little cold. Even though we was working out, but I think I need to be, like, more, like, do some, like, jump roping or something. Because I had to warm myself up before I can actually, like, get in the groove. Everything. We already seen his footwork was garbage. If you listen to Showtime's um, coach's corner, you can hear the things. He was falling in a lot. You understand? Know and you can hear me telling Tank, throw straight punches. You know? So you're just breaking them down. Just breaking them down. You know? I told you, Tank can get you from 1 to 12. You can't make no mistakes. Gervonta, I'm back over here at Marcos Villegas, Fight Hub. Hey, uh, I don't know. I, I think it was one in the middle rounds. Uh, we saw you do like a, a hand motion. Um, yeah, I don't know why. What Everybody keeps saying that. Nah, my hand. Yeah, yeah. But I, I didn't hurt my hand not one time in this fight. Okay. Not one and time. The second question is, uh, do you feel that Roley's a lot better than what everyone expected him to be in this fight? No. <laughs> why not? Uh... I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Gervonta, Mark Hamilton from Fight Sports. You kind of laughed off a rematch. Uh, so you don't think he deserves a rematch? Or you want to go somewhere else? Who else? Who, what are you looking for to do next? Uh, I don't think people deserve a rematch if, if uh, they get knocked out like that. But not, not trying to be funny, but... Uh, if it was a good fight leading up to the uh, the knockout, then like down the line, like if it was like the ninth round, or tenth round, and you know, maybe somehow somebody caught him with a good shot, but it was, it was. I think it was probably I was one there on the scorecards. I believe um, I start warming up as the fight was going on, and I don't think it's a rem I, 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 we need a rematch, but I'm all is and. Um, you know, if anybody else want to fight me at 135, I really I was talking about 130, but I real I feel comfortable at 135. So. Two more questions, guys. Gervonta, uh, congrats, man, on the knockout. Well. Right here, right here. Uh, oh my bad. No, no, you're good. Congrats. Thank uh, you. How's it feel? You've won a lot of big fights, title fights, but how's it feel to win a fight like this where it was so personal and there's a lot of pride and and bragging rights on the line tonight? Uh, I, I don't think it was personal for me. It was just, it was fun. You know what I mean? At first it was personal. I mean, well, I took it personal, but I I think that, you know, um, it's a part of the sport of boxing. You know what I mean? I, I realized that, and that's when I start, you know, um, having fun with it. You know what I mean? I was just taking it so much personal. You know what I mean? If you see me, see the... uh. You know, the press conference, I was always laughing. I wasn't never – he was the serious one, you know what I mean, when, when we was, like, face-to-face -face and stuff, stuff like that. But I just took it, like, regular. And I always, like, try to do stuff that I always do, like, on a day-to-day -day basis, you know what I mean, leading up to the fight or just us doing press conference. So it it won't, like, make me feel like I'm in, like, a war or something like that. So – I think that's, you know, that play a big part. I mean, I'm good. I got the victory. <laughs> I mean. Yeah. My question to you, at what point did you figure him out, that you figured out? And were you surprised that that left hook you threw was going to, you know, knock him out? Uh, I was figuring him out through the, um, uh, through the rounds. But I feel, I feel as though, uh, 
I was going to eventually break them down. So that was my main goal, to make them chase me around a little bit, start picking shots, start going to the body. But I knew that I was when, – when, when I started faking them out with my eyes, that's when I knew that I had them. And, you know what I mean, the shot that I threw, it wasn't really hard. It wasn't my hardest, like, punch I could have threw. It was just right on the money. I caught him coming in. You know what I mean? I knew he was – he was going to come in eventually because he wanted to hit me so hard. You know what I mean? And I just got out the way at the same time. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you, yes, sir. Thank you all for coming out too, man. Oh, my God.